joining us on Couple by in LA, we are talking about the three C's and that has nothing to do with diamonds. It has nothing to do with color, clarity, or carrot, or weight of the diamond. We're talking about the three C's, particular to Filipino Americans today on the show Census 2010. It's very important for us to participate in that. Also, Canadian immigration, ito po ang pag-asa ng mga nagsistay dito sa America na they can't get documentation or they can't stay here uh, legally. Maari po kayong pumunta sa Canada. And now, our final C on the show, ang ating pong pinagmamalaki, Filipino American, very young but very accomplished cyclist. Corinne Rivera, Kababayan, the sport of cycling, very young too. Corinne, you know, we've interviewed a lot of people here usually for basketball, um, volleyball, some boxing too, and uh, snowboarding even. But why the sport of cycling? Why do you choose that? Um, I kind of grew up with it. My dad was always on two wheels, mm -hmm. and so it started with motocross and downhill bikes, then road bikes, and that's where I came in, and I started to take part in that. Well, see, the thing is, most of us as kids, we dream of, 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 of riding a bicycle, riding mm -hmm. a bicycle without the training wheels. I can still remember my first time riding a bicycle, balancing myself, but um, it stops there. It's just for recreation. Yeah. What made you decide to pursue it with such a passion that makes you want to compete and win well I, I rode I started out riding recreationally and then there was a small local race in Redlands that I chose to you know take part in how old were you then I was 10 uh -huh. and so I raced that and I won it was really short it was a lap mm -hmm. and then the next year I raced it again and I won and then I figured I don't want to wait every year mm -hmm. for that I want to continue racing. it speaks volumes of your uh, courage to want to compete at, at a very young age of 10 years old why <laughs> <laughs> Why? Did it, was it just you? You wanted to do it for yourself, or did your parents encourage you? Uh, you know, how was that like? Yeah, I, I always strive to be my best, whatever, whatever, whatever I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And even before cycling, I played soccer, and I always wanted to win. To and win. you know, it's always a good feeling to win. Does it help to be this competitive? Uh, like when you race, uh, of course, winning is for, first and foremost in your mind. But you know, does it put extra pressure on you? So that you always have to deliver. Oh yeah, that's that's almost what helps me win because I always put pressure on myself to mm -hmm. do the best that I can be. Mm -hmm. are, are there ever times when you know you it's you just want to give up? You don't want to do it anymore. No, because sometimes because when I when I lose or when I don't accomplish something that I want to mm -hmm. um, it makes me want to win more so it kind of works both ways right well it's not always victory for you what do you learn from the losses um, it definitely shows that when you're at your best you can always be better uh -huh. so if you lose there's always someone better than you so you keep working just because you're winning doesn't mean you have to stop there. Right. And it doesn't look like you're going to be hitting on the brakes anytime soon. It looks like you're going to keep going and yeah. going. What will get you to stop? When will you stop? Where do you want to take your career? Um, I want to take it as far as I can. And for female cycling, that would be the Olympics. Mm -hmm. So once I get to the Olympics and I accomplish what I want to, I'm, you know, depends on uh, during, you know, that time. But that's that's the goal and, and w what are you doing to ensure that you make it to the Olympics what makes a good uh, cyclist what are what are the things you have to give up what are the things that you know you have to do yeah it's an endurance sport so there's a, a lot of time that takes part in it and I, I have a lot of sacrifices that I have to make you mm -hmm. know you know spending time with friends and family I have to miss out on sometimes mm -hmm. but you know, eventually, hopefully, it'll pay off. Well, how how much of a sacrifice is that? I know you're 17. People your age would, most people your age would rather hang out in the mall yeah. or go out with friends, watch movies, um, date even. Uh, what are some of those things that you sacrifice? Yeah, a lot of that stuff is something that I, I really miss out on, mm -hmm. but my priorities right now is cycling, so... I have to, you know, give up some of that good head over your shoulders because you know what you want and you're striving to get it. How much time do you uh, do you spend practicing? It ranges between, you know, seven hours a week to over 20 hours a week. Seven hours a week is about 
an hour a day. Yeah. But so do you train Mondays through Sundays or do you have rest breaks? And Yeah, every once in a while I have a rest day uh -huh. or a, an easy week. But Is it just cycling that you practice or do you go to the gym, lift weights and stuff? Yeah, I also go to a, a sports science gym in San Juan Capistrano and it's uh, all isokinetic so it, it helps with cycling because usually big heavy weights isn't good for cycling. Wow, hardcore stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so uh, go ahead and talk to our viewers. You know, a lot of parents watching also, what does, what is, uh, what good does, uh, do sports do in, in the formation of a person, a personality, a uh, person's personality? Yeah, um, life is like, it's kind of like sports, you know, you prepare for something and then you try to get there and then you move on to the next goal. Mm -hmm. So it teaches you a lot of discipline and what you have to prepare for and you just keep working at your goals. Wow, thank you so much and more power to you. Are you sure you're just 17? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Good luck, All more right, power. Thank you. Ang kababayan LA ay hatid sa inyo ng McDonald's at ng bagong McCafe Espresso Drinks. McDonald's na bang inyong bagong coffee house? Ang mga bagong McCafe Espresso Drinks ay mabilis, masarap at mas mura pa kahit saan, kahit kailan. A storm is brewing. Many packets.